So guys, finally AOSP Extended is now available for Android 10 and I couldn't wait to install it on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. AOSP Extended is one of the oldest customer out there. I have personally used it since lollipop times. It's known for its pure pixel-like software and amazing performance along with plenty of features and customization. So apart from Redmi Note 7 Pro, it's available for many Android phones. So first we are going to review this room and at the end of this video I will show you how to install it. So let's get started. So first of all let me show you in about section this is indeed Android 10 USB extender with the latest security patch of 5th September. And when you see the kernel, it's not PC Plus kernel like Resurrection Remix or Hammer OS. It says not kernel plus. Now I don't know which kernel it is, but I will let you know the battery life and performance for this kernel. And guys, in my previous Android 10 rooms video, many of you asked me that why face unlock is not available. Guys, face unlock is not currently available in any Android 10 rooms right now. And that's why most of the flashaholics are choosing to stay on Android Pie right now. So guys, this is how the room looks from very first port. It has a launcher as the default launcher. If you want, I will drop the APK in description. This is very customizable launcher, just like Nova launcher. It has many features by itself. Apart from that, there are few apps that you get with this room. For example, AEX wallpaper, a dedicated wallpaper app from USB extender. Moving ahead, we have FM Radio, which is almost extinct in 2019. And then we have this fan favorite music player, a retro music player. It is very cool and neat app, no ads as you can see. So this room itself is completely de-bloated. Even Pixel Phones has many Google junk apps that you won't find in this room. So when you go to quick setting, you can find dark mode, nightlight and caffeine. But you won't find accent colors just like Resurrection Remix or Havoc OS. But don't think that it's not available in this room. For that you have to go to display and there you will find extra colors. Unfortunately it doesn't have that many colors like other rooms but this is first built for Android 10 so they will add more with new updates. Now let's talk about the features. So when you go to setting menu you see this tab called extensions and all your features are there. Unfortunately because this is first USB extended Android 10 build, you won't find all the features that you will find in Android Pie version of the same ROM. But still I have customized my status bar. As you can see I have put network traffic indicators on my status bar and also given some kind of animation to my quick setting tiles. In the basic status bar settings you can hide any icon from your status bar or you can make it completely empty. When it comes to volume control, when you tap here, it occupies your half screen. And I personally didn't like this setting. I wish there was a way to customize this. On the good side, it has three finger screenshot, one of my favorite feature which I look in any custom row. And if you ask me, yes, the Volti is working currently, but unfortunately, internal call recording option is not available yet. It might be added in the future updates, so keep an eye on that. So the battery life is quite average. I got seven and a half hours of screen on time, and the standby time is not great also. If you do nothing, still it will drain 1% of your battery life within 15 minutes. And now I will show you how to install this on your phone. So to install this room on your phone, there are only two requirements. Your bootloader must be unlocked, and you must have custom recovery installed. So installing TWRP is different for each phone, so you can google your phone's name plus how to install TWRP. But installing a custom room is same for most all the phones and that's why I'm making this video. 